Welcome to this bonus episode of the HIO Show. I'm Stu Cowan of the Gazette, and I'm joined by former Canadians Chris Nyland and Rick Green, who were teammates on the 1986 Stanley Cup team, and hockey analytics analyst Andrew Berkshire. Okay, guys, what do you think the ceiling is for Canadians defenseman Caden Gooley? Let's go to the former defenseman to start us off, Rick. Hey, look at sky's the limit. He's over 21 minutes a game behind Matheson, and uh, he's doing the job. What a, you know... What a great, great uh, pick to have a guy like that on the on the blue line. Mobile, intelligent with the puck. He's, he plays with some grit and, and character. He really is, uh, uh, you know, committed to to playing defense. But he can also uh, obviously jump in there uh, on the offensive side. But uh, great uh, all round player that's going to continue to get better. And uh, he's, he's you know grabbing this opportunity. Um, to you know, to to get his game the best it can be, and uh, he's doing a great job. And you know, the result is he's getting lots of uh, situations to be played in, and he's going to continue to grow and be one of the top defensemen, I believe. Uh, you know, in in the league uh, moving forward. Yeah, yeah I think he, he's got a top pairing potential, right? He, he's a really good player, a very versatile player. He's got that physical edge. You know, he's still really young. And he's still like, he's already pretty strong. I think he can get even stronger with that frame. Uh, he's got a pretty good ability to transition the puck up the ice and offensively nothing to sneeze at either. He's really an all tools defender, which is kind of rare. You know, usually you have more uh, defensive upside or offensive upside, but he's kind of the same on both sides, which is really impressive. You know, I don't know if he's a like number one defenseman that you would necessarily want to be like, he's not going to be like a Victor Hedman or a Roman Yossi type, but if the Canadians can have Reinbacher get to that same level, then you have two guys who are really, really good in a lot of different areas. And that's a, it's a good thing to have. I think Caden Gooley in an ideal world, if everything breaks perfectly for the Canadians, you have your top pair of Hudson Reinbacher and then Gooley anchors your second pair. And then you're really cooking. But if he ends up on the first pair, I don't think anybody's going to be upset either. Yeah, I listen, he could be, again, top top two, top four D-man. He had no question about it. Solid skate. Uh, Andrew said it. Is all, he got all those tools, right? Uh, he got that toughness. He's, he's not a pushover out there. Can move the puck pretty well. Um, he got some numbers. So, yeah, again, top four D, you, you can pair him with a guy like Hudson, something like that. I, I geez, when I look at the D, you think the promising guys and Reinbacher, Gooley, Abba Jackai, like the size of them, um, you know, if you're going to bring little Hudson in and he's going to do his thing here, um, yeah, you want him insulated and certainly um, – they have guys they can insulate them with and play them with. But, um, yeah, I like the idea of a big mobile defenseman who can play the game. And um, it, It's, yeah, I, he's got a bright future. There's no question about it. Yeah, I don't know if defensively Hudson's going to be strong enough to be a top-pairing guy going against the other team's top line every night. We'll find that. Yeah, out. I don't think that's happening either. There's, no, it's a lot to ask. Yeah, we'll find out. What, I mean, the thing with, with Gooley is just an all around. And the thing that impresses me as much as this mature game on the ice, off the ice, when you talk to this kid, it's hard to believe he's 22 years old. Yeah. He's just so – nothing seems to phase him. He's really smart. He's intelligent. And he carries that over on the ice. I know, Rick, does he, does he remind you of any defenseman you played with or defenseman you might have coached when you were in Montreal? Not Yvonne LeBray, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That was, was he my, for your that, minus forty, whatever, Rick. <laughs> that, that was my go-to teaching guy. That uh, I couldn't skate behind him because of the ice chips coming up from his his lying skates were hitting me in the face. So I had to put a visor on. But uh, now the list, uh, I, I I don't know. I, over the the years, uh, a name that jumps out. I don't have anybody really uh, that I you know sticks in my mind, but. Uh, I just like the new generation defensemen that are now so much uh, a part of the uh, the offensive play and the mobility and 
you know, they're not all uh, put into that style of defensive only or offensive only. They're they're all well-rounded and they can do a little bit of both. And uh, bottom line out of all of this is you have to be able to skate and uh, be intelligent uh, with the puck. And those are two key ingredients uh, for today's defenseman. Blast and he's not pack. doing the slide as much, Rick. Yeah, the the, the front crawl stuff, uh, you know, I, I, as, as we've had this conversation before, is, uh, seems to be fading out a little bit. I don't know uh, why, but uh, it's nice to see. Blast from the past, the old Lang skates. I think you wore those, didn't you, Rick? I did, yeah. I thought they were the, the greatest thing until I forgot my liners uh, for practice with Tommy McVie, which was the lunatic coach that uh, my first year said, uh, Rick, I, I don't care what you put on your feet. You got to be out there uh, with liners or no liners. So I put on 10 pairs of socks to replace my liners and my langs. But uh, for those of you who are too young to remember langs, it was basically a ski boot with a, a blade attached to the bottom of them. They were popular for a while. Anyway, that's it for this HIO show bonus episode. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out YouTube channel. Go to MontrealGazette.com slash newsletter to sign up for the Hockey Inside Out newsletter. And, of course, go to HockeyInsideOut.com every day for all the latest Canadian news.